So, this is just a continuation on the video series about chainsaw chains. This is going to be about bars. May I have a video about the chainsaw chains I tend to use, so I figure I'll start talking about chainsaw bars with the ones I use. These are my overall favorites, the Oregon Power Match Plus. They're a little bit older, they're getting harder to find, but I like these a little bit more than I like the newer Oregon Power Cuts. Power Cut. This is basically just a newer version of this. These were, in my opinion, bit made just a little bit better, a little bit nicer. But those are my two favorite bars. The Husqvarna bars are actually made by Oregon. So, Husqvarna branded bars are Oregon's. Come over here. This top one is a Windsor. Which... I don't know if you'll be able to read it. You can... If you know the logos, you can make out the logo on top. But I actually do really like these bars. They're just not common enough for me to say, yeah, go out and buy a Windsor. Then these bottom two are just different Husqvarna bars. Same as those, just all the branding's worn off. And, well, they, sometimes they just don't come with any branding. This is actually a specialty bar. This is a 16-inch roller nose. We'll get into the different noses in the future video, but this actually has a roller instead of a sprocket in the tip. Those are fun just for playing, and then this is the Samurai light bar that I ran. It's not a bad bar, sprocket tip, it's lighter, but once you get past 28, they start flexing too much for me to want to run. But back there, there's... The steels with steel bars. I like the steel bars, but they're low on the expensive side. If I had to pick my all-time favorite, the Canon Duralite bars are the best light bar out there, bar none. They're best if as these, but a lot lighter, but also about three times the price. This Oregon's like, I want to say I paid about 80 bucks for it with a chain included. This one I got used for 50, that's about 90. These are like 20 bucks on eBay, new old stock. And then these shorter Windsors and uh, Huskies are about 40 bucks new. The steels are a little bit more expensive. They tend to be about 50 to 60 bucks versus 20, 30 bucks for the Oregons or Huskies, same size. The steels are a little bit more expensive. And Canons are the most expensive. There's also companies such as Granberg with their GB Titanium. I don't personally own any of those, same thing with the Canons. They are extremely nice bars though. Heard good things about them, and a lot of professionals run them while milling. But yeah, this is just a quick video I figured I'd make just talking about different chainsaw bars and just the ones I run. These Oregon Power Match Plus bars are definitely my favorite, and if you can't tell, I do kind of like the old vintage bars. They just neat. You don't see them too often, and eh, back in the 80s, 90s, the heyday of true muscle saws, they had some really cool stuff. So, yeah, just figured I'd make this video while I'm thinking about it. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.